Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And let's play with a little bit of Distress Resist Spray and a bunch of different inky mediums. I'm having so much fun today. I have this great Halloween stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I've had it for several years. You could see that it was from 2022 and I don't use it very often, but I had it on my desk from another project earlier this week and I said, let's do it. So I stamped out this house. I just have Nina 110 cardstock, stamped it out and I heat embossed it with my Hero Arts Ultra Fine Embossing Powder. And then I found this stencil in my stash and I have no idea where it's from. It's one of those that's unpackaged that I've had since the beginning and I just thought it was gonna be really fun. I have never used my Distress Resist spray to my knowledge. Sometime in my history I may have, I don't remember, but this is me not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> so you can see that it was a stream when I sprayed it versus a spray, and it gave me some questionable results, but I can tell you the card that I end up making, if you didn't see it in the thumbnail, I love the card. Even though this is questionable results here, the card turns out fun. So you can see I also have that circular die there. That is where I want my moon. And that is a circle stencil from Lavinia. It comes in, let me pull out the, the name of the stamps, or the, <coughs> excuse me, the mask set. Lavinia Acetate Circle Masks. It doesn't tell me the name, unfortunately, but I'll try to link it and list it downstairs. Like everything, as always. And again, if I miss something and you're interested, just drop me a message in the comments and I will do my best to find it. So I am using Distress Spray Stains. I have Squeezed Lemonade, Cracked Pistachio, and Uncharted Mariner. So I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. So you could see I put the yellows around the moon because I want that moonlit glow. But then I also pulled my other two panels in here because I, I had to sop up the rest of that resist spray. You know me. If I'm using inks or some kind of a medium and there's extra, I have to, <coughs> excuse me, have to sop it up in some way. So I printed it on this mixed media cardstock and I love the way the spritzes reveal themselves on that black. And here I have another printed stencil with the resist spray on white mixed media card and then I'm using the mica stains and the results again are stunning. I wish that um, my camera would pick all that up better. But uh, it's interesting on these because the resist spray made more of a, just a textured pattern than an actual resist. But I am not mad about it. So here I'm lifting that, that round stencil, putting a little bit of water spray in the middle of my moon and watch all of that. It's so good. I used a little too much. This is my first time doing this technique. I first learned it from... Amy R. over at Prairie Paper and Ink, and she learned it elsewhere from one of Tim Holtz's designers. I can't remember where, but I'll definitely link you over to Amy. And again, if I forget that, please let me know. I, I don't I don't forget things on purpose. I'm, I'm not purposefully negligent. Sometimes just life happens. And I'm almost 60, so <laughs> sometimes my brain. That being said, let's get back to this process. So I... I did my did my little um, technique there with the water in the middle. I got those inks flowing. Added, put put my stencil back down, my mask back down. Added a little more spray and pulled that ink in there a little bit more. And look at that creepy moon. I absolutely love it. I'm all about some green and yellow skies right now. They are just sickly and spooky, and I'm all about it. <laughs> So as we know, embossing powder, especially once it's <laughs> once it's heated and melted and cooled, resists mediums. So it resists paint, it resists ink, it resists all these things. So I'm just going in with with a damp rag and wiping all of those um, all of that excess ink off of my haunted house image. 
colored it up quickly with some olos nothing earth shattering just added a little bit of color to the house now i am mounting up my actual card panel to a layer of black cardstock it's just a thin probably 65 pound maybe maybe a little heavier i'm not sure i'm never good with those numbers but then i mount the whole thing to the card base blotting up a little bit more of that ink it it takes a takes a minute to dry this the distress spray stains even though I've been working with this for a good 30 minutes now, but I also added a lot down. So just blotting that up, and here you can see I added some sparkly four-point stars from my stash. Still trying to use up my stash to make more room for this calls for confetti. <laughs> and then those two sentiments are from Simon Says Stamp. So here is my card, guys, and I thank you for spending some time with me. I wish you an early Halloween, and let me know one of your Halloween traditions downstairs in the comments. Until next time, guys, thanks for spending some time with me, and I'll see you next time. I'm out.